Hello and welcome. Let's model this heart in on shape. I will start in an empty part studio with a sketch on the front plane. I press N for normal view to that. P hide all planes. Then take the L command, press Q for a construction line. Go up here and dimension with 66. All right. And now I will define a spline curve. There is the tool. I pick that origin I and the top vertex of my construction line and press escape. And um, the spline is right on top of the construction geometry, but I'll pull those handles out and we'll define the spline by dimensioning those handles. So first I will define an angle here with 122. And then I'll dimension that handle here with 88. I press B for a parallel constraint between those two handles. And D to dimension that one with a 44. That is our first sketch. I exit that. Then I'll start the next sketch. And that'll be on that right plane here. And again, I will use that spline tool with those same vertices here. Press escape twice and then pull again at my handles here and start dimensioning the angles first to that um, construction line. So the bottom one I uh, will place at 44 degrees and the top one at 81 and then with D again, I dimension the, the bottom one with a 33. Press E for the equal constraint here. Take those two and that's it for that sketch. Fully defined, it's black. I exit that. All right, so we got these two splines and we'll make a loft between those, but I want to define a guide for the loft. For that, I use that um, no, plane command. I can find that here as well, plane, with a curve point option, and I just take that midpoint of our construction line and the line. So there it is defined here. I accept that. And then I start my last sketch for this design on that plane. And one more time, I take the spline command First, I'll just drop those two here, those two vertices. And while well, I press P to twice to hide the plane. And then I will pick that Pierce um, constraint here. Pick my vertex and that other spline here, from that sketch. So um, my sketch point is attached to that line. And the same thing 
over here. All right. Now I take those blind handles, which are still free to move, and I press H for that one, for uh, horizontal constraint, and V for that one. Then I'll dimension one of those with a 16. Press E for the equal constraint between those two, and again, my sketch line turns black for, for a fully constrained sketch. And that is all the sketching I need for my art. So I pick the loft command, take that profile, and take that one. Okay, we get a preview. I'm in, in the surface mode, a new surface. And there is our guide here. So I pick that. And then for a nice continuity, a nice transition um, to the other four surfaces we will need for our heart, I will modify the, the start and end condition. So from none, I switch that to normal to profile and the end one just as well. Okay. So there is um, the defined surface. I go to mirror and mirror that part over the right plane. Do that one more time. Those two over the front plane. All right, that's how it looks. So now we get these four individual bases. And I will use the, the enclose feature. Pick all those. And um, that way, those surfaces are transformed or migrate into a solid part. Well, I'll call that, well, I'll change the appearance to red, change the name to heart, and go here into the shaded without edges mode. Might want to hide that origin and there is our heart designed with on shape.